Welcome to your first course in Trinity Worship. We're using the acronym CROSS, C-R-O-S-S, to discuss how God is united and is to be worshiped. The first letter being C, which is this course, community. Specifically, we're looking at how God relates, and we're gonna learn that by looking at the New Testament letters, predominantly of Paul, and seeing how they are community and family-shaped, and how they form community and family-shaped churches. This eight-week course is going to be absolutely set apart, and it's going to break through the noise of your typical courses on community and your typical courses on the New Testament because most of us approach faith and life through an individual lens, me, myself, and I. We approach faith that way. We personalize faith, my personal relationship with God. We isolate learning, my quiet time with God, but that's not the structure, that's not the paradigm of New Testament writers. They wrote from a very oral-based way of learning where they learned together. It wasn't just what they knew in their head, it was what they showed together. The Christian faith is all about show and tell. We tell about our faith, but people see it by what we show. So this is gonna be a very unique look at the New Testament because we're gonna look through the lens of the Trinity who is not just a me and I, he is also a we and us. And when we approach faith, we kind of do it like my little drawing here. We do it through individual life. And this is a really crude drawing, I'm not an artist. But what happens is slowly when God starts to trim away at us, he starts to cut, he starts to purge, he starts to lead us through life's valleys and he starts to lead us together through the, the elements of life. He starts to cut and he starts to nip and tuck. And he does it so together. And this is what the New Testament does, is it shows how just slowly those pieces, they fall off of us. Okay, and pretty soon this individual is starting to change. And what they thought of as maturity in the New Testament was less about what the individual was like. It was more about what the community life was together. Okay, and so this is what the New Testament is designed to do and we miss it because a lot of times we read it through our own personal quiet times, we read it through our own lenses, we read it through our own best self and what it's to do for us and we forget that it was all about making a me into a we. Okay, and this is where we naturally think as a world. We think in terms of me, myself, and I. But when God connects us to his body and he starts to train us, he starts to train us how we're to function together in a circle, facing in on his image, not trying to become like, compete with, or try to do things the way we think and try to, you know, in some way, you know, cut ourselves off from the community. He's looking for ways that we can interact like he does. And that's where you're going to get a lot of uniqueness because this is how the New Testament frames life. And this is going to solve a huge problem. We have grown into an individualized way of reading the Bible and doing life together. And it's, it's resulted in entitlement, an exertion of our rights, and it's resulted in a, a church body entity that does more to destroy its own to, than to edify its own. It's filled with competition and, and cowardice and competing and malice and slander rather than figuring out how to outdo each other in honor. Love each other with brotherly kindness. Okay? And so you're going to be accomplishing some things in this course. You're not just going to turn into just a consuming Christian, consuming the Bible. You're going to turn into a producing Christian. How can you think of ways to make the things that you know in your mind into ways to produce a flourishing community, a flourishing we. And one of the assignments you're gonna do that through is your Pauline epistle assignment. You're gonna to learn to exegete scripture, which is a big word, but that's basically taking what's inside the scripture, pulling out the meaning, pulling out the intent, and then applying it to your church and your context, not just yourself. So this is gonna be a very unique way of applying different things for your growth in Christ, your growth into the image of the Trinity. It's all about how God relates and he wants to turn us into those relational beings that he, that in his likeness. And we have to do so in a way that's different from the world. The community, the idea of community is all the rage in our world right now. But Christians have to be different. What kind of community sets us apart? And that's going to be described for us in the New Testament.
You will have some assignments, you will have some things to do and read. And we want I want to encourage you before taking this course to watch continue watching this intro video and then go look at some of the resources. There are ones that we're going to show that are provided with this course when you purchase it or when you take it. There's also going to be some suggested things, maybe readings or other things that you are going to either have to buy or going to be encouraged to buy as a supplement to this course or use that we're not going to provide for you. And we also want to encourage you to know about something very specific, which is our integration with Garden City. Garden City wants to promote beauty, wants to promote the understanding of God and in the community of God as we create, as we relate, as we make with one another. And most of you are going to be used to the college experience or the, the class experience where you write something down, you make something, you turn it in, you get your grade, and then you put it on your computer or throw it away, and it sits there and it never does any good. We want to promote what you learn. So throughout all of our courses, you're going to be making things in the life of a community. You're going to be learning things in the life of community, and we want to post those. We want to post your work as you, your class, as you, as your small group, as your church, as your cohort, whatever you want to call it goes through these courses we want to post those things because we want to put on visual display the truths you're learning 